tunatuona hakuna mkutano tafadhali hakuna City Hall was choked with melodrama as rival factions barked by the handshake and Deputy President Dr. William Ruto fought for supremacy in a long day splattered with vengeance. It all started after the Sonko Elachi group, which MCS claim is barked by the handshake, disrupted a press conference by majority leader Abdi Guyo group. Terming it as a disrespect to Speaker Elachi, pebbles then started flying as a Guyo group insisted Elachi is illegally in office, citing a court order while stating the impeachment motion is at Nairobi Assembly Clerk Jacob Gwele's office awaiting clearance. This assembly has uh, its members behind Speaker Elachi and behind the governor. That other small group of 21 members purporting to have an impeachment motion, that is an impossibility. It is not possible to impeach a speaker with 21 members. We voted Elachi out by 98%, but it was all under intimidation. And we have said enough is enough. Then came the afternoon sitting. The Guyo group disrupted the sitting until they got tired and left. Our speaker Beatrice Elachi stood firm in the chamber to conduct house business. The Guyo group claims it has obtained a court order barring Elachi from accessing the chamber as a speaker. We have been, we've just been informed that Honorable Beatrice Elachi has been served a court order barring her from conducting the business of the county assembly. As such, we wish to state that Honorable Bittis Elachi does respect the court decision in the same manner she expects us to do. Sources close to Elachi say the differences between her and Deputy President Dr. William Ruto emanate from claims that she was part of the team that forwarded Ruto's name to the International Criminal Court at the height of the 2007 post-election violence cases of the Hague Netherlands. Then it boils down to the County Assembly Service Board, where the board controls a 500 million shillings budget for the 85 ward offices. While Guyo has been ejected from the board, Elachi's return poses a threat to the Guyo group, as the speaker has cracked the whip on misuse of funds, exposing the Guyo group to ESC investigations. They block the Auditor General, they, they, they falsify documents. So when, it, when Elachi came and became the speaker, automatically she becomes the chair of the board. And she wanted to just create systems, you know, that are straight. That is when the fight began. Enough is enough. We don't care about all this leadership position in this house. What we care about is the welfare of Nairobi people. Guyo's removal from the county service board is said to have been sanctioned by Jubilee Party Secretary General Rafael Tuju. But as far as the chaos continues to reign, the governing Jubilee Party appears to have failed on its reign at City Hall. What is happening here at City Hall is not just about supremacy politics, but money and power, with national politics having a hand in it, the handshake versus Deputy President Dr. William Ruto. Apul Kamau, K24 Evening Edition, Art City Hall.